M0FXP, welcome to my channel and we've been doing some videos on the 2350 LU cable that come that you can get with an ICOM ID51 plus plus two and I think you can use it with this ICOM 705 as well and other radios so what we are doing today is we are connecting to Doozy so right now we're connected to reflector 30 Charlie uh, this second there's no activity but I did I have just had a nice chat with WA8 YXM who's given me some very good info now if I just briefly key the mic you'll see the screen the doozy screen will go red there you go so I'm sh and I'll be showing up on the um, reflector 30 D star system so how do we do this well let's turn it off first thing you're going to do is you need the cable so here's the cable the OPC 235 LU and a lot of the or well, most of the 51 twos had it in the box I think with the 51 plus you had to buy the cable separate so you know what the cable looks like and then there's another little adapter that goes from this part here where uh, it's a it's a mini I think look it up but it's a mini I think the number is B I'll just have a quick look yeah, so it's, just so you can see, it's this type here, the USB mini B5 pin. So you need it to go from there to normal USB, uh, so you can plug it into your PC. Now some of the kits include this anyway. So, you've got the cable, and then the next thing you're going to need is get the driver downloaded. So go to ICOM, I'll put the links in the description. Download the driver, it should, with a bit of luck, install straight away on Windows 10. Otherwise, there is a manual here, manual download page. Click that, and it will give you instructions how to manually uh, load up that driver that you're going to need. And once you get it and you're connected, what you're going to see in your device manager, right-click, click device manager here. You're going to see ports. Uh, where is it? There it is there. USB serial port, and I'm on 14. So that's what you're going to see. And if you want to check it, right-click. Select properties and just have a look. Have a look at the details. FTDI is what we've got. Okay. So, we've got the driver downloaded. We plug the computer in. The next thing you want to do is get your radio into terminal mode. So let's see if I can do that without making uh, knocking over radio. So you just go menu. Um... Let's have a look now. Go all the way to the bottom. And it's two up from the bottom, DV gateway. And then at the moment, it's, it's asking me if I want to go back to normal mode because I'm in terminal mode. But if it, if it wasn't saying that, it would be saying access mode or terminal mode. So for doozy, we're going to use terminal mode. Okay, so let's... Uh, get out of that so then the screen you'll get would be use reflector at the top your call sign underneath and uh, th the words terminal at the bottom here so that's all ready so now I mean David has done all the hard work for us go back to doozy uh, let's have a look here just click your little tool icon here, select that COM14 that we saw. Now you can update all the host files as well while you're there before you connect, which we've already done. Click save and then choose the reflector you want. Now with some reflectors, you have to register for the US Trust sort of D-Star uh, thing. So um, I'll, I think I'll, see, I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So go to Regi Regis D Star Gateway. Go here, register, and then when you register with a with a, a you know a local repeater, you need to ask them to allow the U tr the U Trust. So have a look into it. I have tried to do it. I'm waiting for some replies, but Reflector Thirty is working off the bat. The one that isn't logging in is, is Reflector One at the moment. It's saying busy, so I'm guessing I have to be accepted so have a look at that I'll put the link in the description as well and uh, see if you can work that one out 
Anyway, so back on doozy. So we'll try and we'll connect. We'll turn it on. It says not linked at the moment. Then we'll click connect. And straight away, it's gone to reflector 30. Unfortunately, it's not busy. So let's try a different connection that normally is busy. We'll disconnect. And this time, we'll go to DCS and 477B, which is normally connected to Hubnet, which is a very friendly group in uh, in the UK, connected to the world via gateways, um, repeaters, and individual users using AllStar, Echolink, and many other ways, um, C4FM and DMR. So we're going to connect into that system, and then we'll see if we can have a contact on. But we'll be using Do Doozy. We've just got the cable connected to the radio, going into the computer. That's all configured. That's all we've done. Uh, there's no software to run. It's literally doozy program. And we're going to hit connect. I can't. There's no one talking now. So let's call through and see if anyone comes back to us. We'll just turn it up. I'll be talking at a bit of a distance from the radio, but that's fine. You should still... Uh, hear me with a bit of my big mouth. M0 FXB calling for a contact on Hubnet. So as you can see, the screen goes red when you transmit. So cheers for the cup of tea. Let's so no one at the moment, when stations come through via reflector, Actually, if they buy everything, it's, it's all gets listed here in this long list. So no one there at the moment. Let's just, uh, I'm going to turn on one of my other radios and see if I can hear myself. M7 TRS Mobile. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm actually doing some tests as usual, and, and which will go on YouTube. What I've got is an ICOM ID 51 plus 2 with the OPC2350 cable going into terminal mode, running in terminal mode, and then going into Doozy, made by PA7LIM. So that's my connection, and I'm coming in via DCS477B. Uh, Back to you. Working good. Sounding good as well. Yes, I've got a good connection. Uh, slightly robotic, but nothing that's uh, out of the end. Uh, that's extraordinary. But yes, uh, no problem. Well, I'm going to have a night with me. I'm currently heading to north on the M6, so I'm up to the Elite District today. And uh, yeah, well, like I just said, I don't hear anybody come back to you, and I can't leave you hanging, so I'll just let uh, come back, give you a quick shower, and say, yeah. So, how are you on this fine morning? I'm going to light you up. Welcome, sir. Back to you. M zero FXB. Oh, the uh, the weather is is terrible. <laughs> Windy, rainy, cold. It's it's definitely stay at home weather. So sorry to hear that you're mobile. Hopefully you're going somewhere nice. You're coming through nice and clear. Yeah, I guess I could be sounding robotic. The radio I'm on is a lovely looking radio. It's an ICOM fifty one plus two. It has like a a blue camouflage style front to it. It's very nice to use. And it's um, a, dual, a dual band D Star VHF UHF radio. Has GPS, um, built in SD card, DPRS. It's, it's just a lovely radio to use. So, okay, well, thanks for the check up there. I'm going to get this video onto YouTube and I'll move on to the next thing, which is connecting it directly to a Raspberry Pi 3B. No computer. Uh, using the cable again and getting on to the reflectors. Uh, so I might be back on in about 10 minutes. Back to you for a final M0FXB. There you are. Next video coming soon with the Pi. Pi 3 ready to go. SD card it configured. Always multitasking, so 
Yeah, thanks very much for coming back to me. 7-3. Oh, at the end, doozy stopped working. Let's just uh, redo that. 7-3 anyway, all the best.